The classic day trading strategy is the trend line support and resistance. Basically, we want the market to make high and lows. By connecting any two highs or any two lows, we can have a trend line. We're expecting the market to touch the uh, trend line another time, and then it's gonna bounce back from the uh, trend line to the same direction. Here, when it touches the trend line for the third time, we're expecting the market will bounce to the upside. So the good entry point is here. It doesn't matter whether we have only one side of the trend line or both sides. Normally, the third time touching of the trend line gives you the highest probability to trade with the trend. For the fourth, fifth, the probability will be much lowered. Here is an example. When the market forms two highs here, we can connect them as a trend line. And then at the bottom, the same thing. When the market touches the uh, trend line for the third time, at the top here, there's a short opportunity. So we can trade down to the uh, bottom trend line here. And also when the market goes up to test the uh, trend line for the fourth time, you can see that the market this time didn't go down further. Instead, it gives you a bear trap. That is why the third time touch gives you the highest probability for trading. The same logic for the bottom trend line here. When the market touches the uh, bottom trend line for the third time, you could go long, depending on your strategy. First, you can see it is a downward open triangle. That means the downward pressure is better than upward pressure. So for beginner traders, it is not recommended to trade up here because if your strategy is to use the uh, signal bar, which is this bull bar, then you don't have much room to go to the top trend line. That means not much profit. However, for advanced trader, you could use limit order to buy here and then to trade to the top of the trend line. For the fourth touch here, you can see it appears a little bit here. So it breaks this trend line a little bit, though it doesn't matter that much. But the probability to go up is much lower. As the market develops, the trend direction changed. When we see these two lows, we can draw a trend line. The same logic. Then when the market goes down to touch the uh, trend line for the third time, we can go long here. And also at the top, we can draw another trend line here to aim the market to go up to the touch the top trend line. However, for this leg up, you can see the market didn't go up to touch the uh, top trend line. That means the top trend line doesn't work anymore. And also it means the upward trending is lowered very much. So when you see the first touch of the trend line here, probably you don't want to trade and then the market becomes very choppy. So for beginner day traders, it is recommended to trade the third touch of the trend line and the trade with the trend direction. 